Hello everybody and welcome back. And now before we continue with the burp suite, I just want to show you some of the tools that you can check out by yourself that already come pre-installed in Kali Linux and are used for discovering basically more information about a certain website. So let us just open our terminal. We will go over them briefly. There's only two tools and then we will continue after that to use burp suite in order to hack a web page. But first of these tools is called WhatWeb. If you just type here WhatWeb, you will be prompted with your options for this command. And what this command basically does is it identifies different web technologies running on a certain website. It can, for example, detect JavaScript libraries used for designing the websites. It can discover some different systems, technologies that are running on the website. Now, we will only cover one of the options right here, which is just the verbose, which is minus V. We will just use that in order to show you that what this tool does. So let me just check out the IP address of my OWASP machine. So I'll just type here ifconfig and we can see that it is dot one dot nine. So if I type here what web minus V 192.168.1.9, we should see some of the things that are running on the website, which can be useful if you are uh, planning a further attack. So we can see we got a bunch of these options bunch of the output which says basically the versions and the things that are running on the website. So we'll go from the top, as it says the page is found which it gives us the status code 200. This is the title, the IP address, the country, summary. It, the, in the summary basically you can see all of the things that it is running and below that you will see in more details what version are they running? So for example, you can see jQuery, HTML5, OpenSSL, Python, HTTP server, Apache, and so on and so on. But if you scroll right here down, you can see Apache version 2.2.14. We can see different modules, module proxies, underscore HTML, website. Now this is just the website of the Apache. Let me just go down. Emails. So it extracted some of the emails, I believe. Not really sure if that's that. It could be that these are just some of the emails that are located on the website. Yeah, because of this one, I believe, OSBWA. It basically just found some email on the website. HTML5, HTTP server, jQuery, OpenSSL, PHP, we can see the version, Passenger, Perl, Python, Script, and so on. So these are just some of the useful information you can find out about a certain website. For example, if you find out that it uses JavaScript, you can possibly try to plan out a cross-site scripting attack or something like that. Now that's just the first tool that I wanted to show you. We won't be covering it in detail, so let us just go on to the next one right away. And the next tool would be Derb. So just type in your terminal Derb and you will get the available options for this tool. So basically what this tool does is it scans for directories that aren't found in the page. It, it basically recursively tries to find web pages with different extensions. If it finds out that the web page exists or if it doesn't exist, it basically finds it out by uh, the status code of the page itself. So for example, we all know that if you visit a page that doesn't exist, you get that uh, weird 404 error page not found. And if it doesn't exist, you get the status code of 200. So basically how this program works is it brute forces the website with directories. And if you get the status code of 200, it will print us that the page exists. And if it gets the status code of 404, it will say that the page doesn't exist. Now, it's a simple concept. So let us just run this program on the same web, which is our OWASP virtual machine. So let me just see what the uh, syntax is. As we can see there, uh, URL base, word lists. So let me just 
locate some of the word lists. Now some of the word lists you can find it's user share word lists. And then just type here ls and let me see which one we will use. Let me go to Metasploit. Since there are a bunch of other word lists, as we can see right here. Now let me see if there is any word list that could be useful for us for this specific for this specific attack, which is basically brute forcing the directories in order to find some of the directories that aren't on the website. So let me just see right here. I can't seem to find any directory. Let me just tell us grab there. Maybe it will find something like that. No. Let me just go. Oh, there it is. There is literally a derb. So we can use something from here, I believe. Extensions common. Let us just get that so we can see if that is what we need. No, I don't think that is what we need. This is the, yeah, the file extension. So let me just see what is under common. It could be something useful. So we can try that one. Not really sure if it is made for this, probably not, but let us give it a try, why not? So we will use the common txt. Let me just, yeah, common.txt word list. So it is, it should be in the same path for you as well. So slash user slash share slash word list and then slash derp. And you should see the common.txt file. So let us just run derp once again. And if we type here derb 192.168.1.9, oops, dot nine, and we type here the user share word lists. I could have just specified common.txt since we are already in the in the folder, and then the options. Let us just see if we want to add any options or do we want to basically just run this. Let me see if it will work like this. Use HTTP. Okay, so we need to specify HTTP. And as we can see right now, it is running the directory brute force and we can see right here. Oops, I just went we can see the code 200 means that the page exists. No need to scan it, let me just see. Code 500, okay, code 200, 200, all of these 200 pages do exist, so we can prove that. Let us just use any page that was code 200, for example, this one. We can copy the URL and let us go open our Firefox. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this attack is because some of the websites can configure to have uh, available web pages with basically usernames and passwords. So, you can basically find something you shouldn't be able to find just by trying out random directories for that page. Now, before I go and paste the link, I need to turn off my proxy, which is the burp suit. So if you have it or as a set as proxy and not running it currently, just go here and for this time go on no proxy. So I don't have to turn on the burp suit for this video and we will paste and go. And as you can see, it, the, it found a page. So this page exists. And if we check out another page that gave us the status code of 200, for example, let us see, we can take any page we want. So code 200, index.html, this is some ICO file, so, but it doesn't matter. Let us just see if it works and it does work. We got a picture. So all of these 200 codes exist on the website as a directory. So basically that's about it for this tool. Now we will be coding our own br directory brute forcer in the advanced section. It is really easy to code and you will see how it works behind the scenes. So 
But for now on, I just want to show you these two tools and in the next lecture we will continue with the burp suit and some of the attacks on our OWASP virtual machine. So I hope I see you there and take care.